Acadia. Today is Friday, October 15th, and it is a B day. And did you know October 15th is National I Love Lucy Day? The program created a new television experience with the first filmed and scripted program performed before a live audience. Friday, I'm home. That's great. I was wondering where you were. What, what did you do? Well, I started without you because you weren't here. Uh, I don't want to hear any more of your hybrid scams. Right. Rosney, what did you do? Are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Gosh, okay. Why don't you do the lunch menu since you're late? Okay, uh, it's pizza, chickpea salad, and assorted fruit. You did that great. Thank you. All right, um, just a heads up, peeps. Um, the Patriots Pen Essay Contest is taking place. Uh, if you are interested in um, writing how I can be a good American, please see your social studies teacher. They are all super nice and would be more than happy to give you the information. They are super nice. They're so great. Yeah. Uh, National PTA Reflections Contest oh. time is upon us again. All right. So, you know. You should do it. This year's theme is I will change the world by, all right, uh, you can accept, uh, or PTA will be accepting virtual submissions through Google Forms. So if you're interested, see all things Acadia for more information. And do not forget about our backpack program, Food Raiser, which starts next week. So please bring in those items for the backpack program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shen Social Club, uh, a, sh a club for 7th and 8th graders only, a social club for being social, promoting cool. social. Yeah. yeah. Monday, October 25th is the first meeting in room 909. The late bus leaves at 415. The facilitators are Mr. and Mrs. Shea. And today is Red Day. Remember, everyone deployed. And today we are featuring Nathaniel Killebrew, who is Mrs. Moses' grandson, and he is a senior airman. Uh, Security Forces Unit, SRA, and currently deployed overseas in an undisclosed location. That sounds serious. Sound serious. With his unit training in special operations. He has served in the Air Force for four and a half years and aspires to be a... Pararescueman. I can't see this line. <laughs> when he returns from deployment, his favorite hobbies are outdoor woodworking projects projects you should have done this slide yeah. drawing and swimming so it. thank you for your service Nathaniel. Thank you, thank you. i think they call him nate yeah happy birthday you could have read this slide look how big that is <laughs> to all those people happy birthday happy birthday over the weekend and finally a message from njhs about breast cancer awareness how does breast cancer affect people breast cancer can affect both men and women Although it starts off by only affecting the breast, it can also spread all over your body. Some things breast cancer can also affect if it spreads are the liver, lungs, muscle, bone, and your brain. When having breast cancer, it can affect the emotional health of patients, families, and friends. Most people face common feelings during this devastating diagnosis, which includes anxiety, distress, depression, pain, difficulty concentrating, social isolation, or self-blame. Remember, wear pink on Friday, October 22nd. And remember, purchase stickers and lunch during the week of October 18th. Thank you, NGHS, for that message. That's it for today's announcements. Make it a great day or not, Acadia. The choice, the choice is, is yours. yours.